right, how you guys doing today? Good. Hope everybody's doing great. Let's jump into a question I have here. Very straight to the point. Hey, Mark. What is the most powerful way we create our, our reality? That's a great question. So, okay. The most powerful way to create your reality. So, first, before we know that, right? We got to get into what is reality. Re well, reality is your experiences, what you're feeling, or what you're physically aware of, the things you're going through, what you can see, right? What you can touch, what you can feel. We call that reality. So, what is the most powerful way to create reality? It is your words. What you speak comes into existence. So, yeah, there's a lot of things we can do. We can use our imagination. We can do our visualizations. We can listen to our subliminals. But we pay attention more to what we speak. At least, at least your subconscious does. Your subconscious pays, conscious and subconscious pays more attention to what we speak about. And here's the thing you got to know. The way that you have been taught to speak is incorrect. A matter of fact, I'll go a step further. I can say, I can say the way that we were taught to speak is actually self-sabotaging us. I would say a lot of the things we were taught to speak is self-debilitating language and words. In other words, most of our words that we are speaking about, it's making us depressed. It's making us unhappy. It's making us create what we don't want. It's diminishing your, our self-esteem. Majority of our self-talk it's, it's doing that to us right now. Hey, how does you? How are you guys doing? Does word of manifesting work? Yes. Greetings from Bali Island. Greetings from the Bali Island. Beautiful, beautiful island. Good to see you guys here on this TikTok here. Like, all right. So the words we speak will manifest our. Right. So what are the words that we're supposed to speak? How are we supposed to talk? Well, here's the thing you got to understand. You have to talk in the language that matches your subconscious mind. So I'll, I'll just throw in a couple main points that will help you guys, okay? The first language and word you talk about is you have to speak your things, speak what you want in the present moment. Don't speak, I will get it. You got to speak like, I already have it. I can get it. It's already mine. So you speak in the present moment, okay? The next part of the, of the word language is please, please, please stop, stop putting yourself down. No matter what happens, you cannot speak negative about yourself. You cannot say stuff like, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm just not good like that. Why do I always do that? Damn me. I'm not great at making money. I'm not good at finding a relationship. I'm too tall. I'm too skinny. I'm too overweight. I'm too underweight. I'm just not too smart. Please stop doing that because what you're doing is you're affirming what you want your mind to show you and recreate in your life. Remember. It's your subconscious mind that creates and manifests your world. It is your conscious mind that interprets and focuses and experiences your world. Two different aspects here. So whenever you are talking, you have to talk in power. You have to empower your words. You have to talk things as if it's happening. You have to use words of optimism instead of pessimism because your subconscious will create what you say. That leads to what our language is. It's called our story. Our story is our play. Your mind is looking for your story. So the question, if you guys just joined me here, the question that was asked was, okay, what is the most powerful way we manifest? And we, the most powerful way we manifest is our self-talk, is our words we use. The words we use. Now, there's a couple things you can do. 
You can do scripting. Scripting is a great way to help you to manifest by using your words. So you can put your words on paper so that you can you can be more aware and conscious of them. So when you're writing down your words, you'll know what you're saying. Say, oh man, okay, I'm saying that, I'm saying this. You put them in the present, or you can put them in the past, like it's already happened. Because your subconscious right, is illogical, right? So the language is very important. So words that you gotta words you gotta take out of your vocabulary. You gotta gotta get them out of your vocabulary. Like, I can't. I will. I hope. Fail. Not good enough. Not enough. Limit. Lack. I wish. You gotta take those words out of your vocabulary. Maybe one day it'll happen. Hopefully I'll get it. Gotta take those out of your vocabulary. Mark, can I ask you about your journey before you won the lottery? Yes, it's on my uh, YouTube channel on a live I did yesterday. You could go watch it. You'll see my whole story there. Um, YouTube channel is Mark Houghton, by the way, and just go to the live video, you'll see it there. It's uh, the latest one. So, when you take those words out of your vocabulary, the universe will now start to make the universe work in your favor. Things will start to manifest for your benefit and for your good. Does that make sense? You see, guys, look, the thing that we're not aware of, right, is that every day we are doing our words, we're talking. But we don't even know what we're talking about. Every day we get up and we talk, and we don't know about. No one takes inventory of their of their work of their self talk. No one's talking. You know the universe will give you signs, man. You know, like right now I'm sitting in, in the car, man, and you know what happens, right? When you when you know when a bird poop on your car or poop on your stuff, a lot of abundance or money coming your way. on you that's even a bigger thing that means you want to be really really successful so the verb just poop poop this thing on me so i can wipe it off with my hand too i can use my phone too and the universe is always working to show you stuff that's a little caveat i'm throwing in for you guys but look guys yeah the thing is when you get up in the morning and when you when whenever you awake in the morning okay the volume's good now yeah can you guys hear me now I don't know the volume is going up and down okay whenever just let me know if you can hear me whenever we can hear you okay good whenever you are up in the morning okay please listen to what you're saying in your head please when you're talking please pay attention to what you're speaking because it's gonna be it's gonna come into your existence I don't know. Some people say you can't hear it lower than before. I got the volume fully up here now, so you should be able to hear me. How's that? Yes, you have to be honest with yourself. Now, let me give you some tips that will help you. If the volume is low, it's something with the, the, the TikTok thing. So, I turned it up a little bit here. Okay, someone says it's fine. Okay, good. Now, look. Let me give you a tip to create your best reality, all right? Here's what you got to do. Stop reminiscing or thinking about your past, right? The bad stuff happened in the past. Stop anticipating and looking into the future and hoping for something to come into your life. You got to stop all of that. What you need to do and what you have to do is this, okay? I use the word need to show you something, but that's another word you need to take out of vocabulary. The word need. I need more of this. I need more of that. No, I have more of this. I'm accepting of more of this. It's on the way to me. So you got to take all those because those are, those are going to create lack into our lives. Okay? It's going to create lack into our lives. So here's what happens. If you just start to just focus in the present moment, okay, and act and feel like whatever it is that you want or desire, it's supposed to come to you. That's all you got to do. You just got to pretend like, okay, you know, the stuff I want, whatever I want, it wants me and it's going to come to me. I know that I am a deliberate creator. I have the power of consciousness. I can create stuff. So let me just focus in the moment 
and then I'm just open to whatever the universe or my higher self is going to bring into my awareness and my consciousness. Okay? And this is what you will get. You will start to experience more of these great things that will start to funnel into your reality. Yeah, the volume, the volume is up as much as I can. So, and I'm speaking right into this. So it's probably something with the uh, recording. Here. Hopefully, it get better. So, what you want to maybe if I take off? Let me see something here. Maybe if I take off, put it on. Let me know if you can hear me a lot better. Yes. No, not covering the speaker at all, guys. So let's see. It's something with the live recording here. So when you start to focus more in the present moment and being, you know, in your present circumstances and just seeing what you want, what you, whatever you want to come in, then that's when things will start to shift and you'll start to see a pattern of change for you. And the change will start to slowly creep in and your life will get better. But you have to understand, people, that... The way we talk is the way we're going to create. Okay? We are writers of our plays. We are the scripters of our reality. So speak empowering things into your life and disempowering things out of your life. You have to literally delete anything in your mind that is not moving you forward to your goal. You got to do it. Because if you do not do that, your mind will corrupt your file. Your mind will corrupt your subconscious. You see, your subconscious is a, a program that stores information. And if you're always having negative things in your head about what you don't want, if you're always overthinking, overanalyzing stuff, it will eat you up. Someone says, yeah, it's much easier. Uh, it's much easier said than done. Now, that is, now let me show you something about, remember I told you guys, I, I want to focus on this comment here to show you the power of your words. When you say it's much easier said than done, what are you programming your subconscious to do? Exactly what you just said. Why don't, why don't you say, you know what? This stuff is really easy and it can be done. That's a total shift in the change. But I'm showing you a point here to show you a power that you don't even realize how you're reprogramming yourself and putting limitations on you. When you say, oh, that's much easier than said easy to say but hard to do your subconscious says I got you it's easy to say but it's gonna be hard to do and it's gonna be very very hard for you to change it but if you say you know what this stuff is easy and it's easy to do magic happens your subconscious says oh this stuff is easy and it's easy to do see this is what I'm teaching you and showing you they don't teach you this you are doing it to your own self every day you get up man it's tough out there man it's so hard man it's easy for you but it's hard for me you're going to get exactly what you're going to get put on. Because they haven't taught you. They don't teach you this. And my friend who said this was this uh, sing. I don't really, I don't want to, this is not to point you out or anything. It's just showing you the words we use. It's just a teaching point. Like when you say it's much easier said than done, you are affirming what you want to experience. See? And this, this is what they didn't tell you. You can change it like that. You can go like, man, it's easy. You can say, life is easy. Life doesn't have to be hard. Success can be easy. Success is easy for me. I'm, li I'm literally telling you. You say, th you say that because, you listen, people, they, they, don't, they don't teach you, right? They, what they don't tell you is that your subconscious mind is the part that makes the play, the whole show. Okay? It's what, what creates your reality. Your subconscious is not like your regular mind. It cannot filter and analyze stuff. So whatever you say, it takes it at face value. And it's going to make it happen in your life. Did you know that? You know how I won the lottery? Someone just says, you know I won the lottery? I kept, say, I kept saying every day, winning the lottery is easy for me. The lottery is chasing me to win. Why is the lottery making me rich? Why is the lottery chasing me to win? Everything is easy for me. Everything is working out in my favor. That's all the stuff I used to say every day. Beat it in every day. Every day, every day, every day. And lo and behold, uh, the lottery became easy. I won the lottery. I won it a couple more times, a few more times, a lot of times now. So I'm just showing you, I'm making you aware of what you got to be observing about. I'm telling you, 
you have to be aware of what you're saying and thinking in your head about yourself, man. Because your subconscious will create it and generate. So my advice is start using empowering languages. Take out, I repeat it again, delete any negative thing in your mind that's not moving you forward. How do I delete this negative thing in my mind, Mark? Very simple. Use your mind to only think and focus on positive things you want. Actually, start to force your mind to that. Let me teach you something powerful. Your brain can only see 0.00035% of the electromagnetic spectrum. By the way, the electromagnetic spectrum is what makes up reality. So that's about 99% of reality is not in your brain. Okay, let me tell you something about your brain. Your brain is just designed to keep you alive enough to make babies, and those babies can grow up and have other kids. The brain is designed for food and mating. That's it. That's all the brain is designed for. Survival. Your brain is not optimized for your happiness, for your success, for your manifestation. Although the brain has the cap capacity and the capability to do it, it wasn't, it's not optimized for that. So when your brain is not optimized for that, your brain is going to run on the default program, which is whatever comes in, I will make it happen. You have to optimize your brain. I'll give an example. It's very simple. When you buy a new phone, the phone is already set up for the basic stuff. Your phone is set up to make a call, to use a camera, and to go on the internet, correct? All the other stuff in your phone that's going to make you happy, you got to do it yourself. You got to go put your apps in there. You got to put your social media apps. You got to put your, your screensaver on there. You got to optimize the phone for your benefit. So when you see your phone, you're like, oh man, look at your phone. You got that cute uh, screensaver. Look at my phone. You're optimizing for your own benefit. It's the same thing with your mind and your brain, people. So your brain, I'm telling you. If you think your brain is made for happiness and all that, they, they lie to you because it's not. You, you have to go in there and fix the brain to do that stuff. Your brain is designed to survive, to keep you fed, to keep you warm, to promote uh, reproduction. That is it, man. That is it. It's not optimized for that. Yes, when you say, oh, there's nothing I can't, there's, you know... The, you can, another careful word. You can't say you can't say there's nothing I can't achieve, because then your your subconscious says can't. So you gotta say if there's you know everything I can't achieve. I'm gonna show you how your words sound manipulated, how tricky they are, man. There's nothing I can't have. That's not a good word to say, because then your mind gonna say there's nothing you can't have. You can't have it. You just hear the word can't. So you gotta you gotta use your words. I can have everything. And the secret sauce to make all this work, if you want to avoid all the complications, just put all your words in questions, man. Questions will give you the answers easily. Just say, you know, why is it easy for me to achieve everything I desire? Why is my life so happy and harmonious? Why do I consistently have more than enough money to live the life I desire? That will take you right to the top, man. You know, why am I consistently in the right place at the right time winning top tier lottery jackpot prizes? Why does the lottery love making me rich? Why is playing the lottery making me rich? Why am I so successful, so successful, successful in everything I do? Those are empowering words. Why is the universe always in my favor? Why is the universe rigged in my favor? Why do I live in a friendly universe that's constantly, consistently designed to serve me? I am telling you, your mind is illogical. You know, now you're optimizing the brain. You're fine-tuning your brain now for success. So now the brain says, all right, let's personalize your reality. Every single thing is temporary in this reality. Emotions are temporary. Happiness is te temporary. Success is temporary. Pain is temporary. It depends on what temporary is to you. Temporary means, what I'm basically saying is, Everything is going to be in a constant flux. That's why you got to be in the moment. You know, you'll go up, you'll come down, you'll go up, you'll come down. But it's about, it's about the way you are perceiving it. So whatever you perceive, it becomes a neutral state, which is a consistent state of peace and bliss. And you can make it that way by optimizing your brain. See, they didn't teach you this. When you came into the world, your brain was just set for, on survival mode, people. 
survival mode is a subconscious mode. Survival mode is the illogical. Anything you say, and then what made it worse, the other people around you didn't know this stuff too. And they create more pr problems or issues on it. And then your parents did it. And then your te teachers, and your school, and the media. And now you, you're bombarded. Every day you get up, all you're seeing is the bad news and this and that. So now you're, oh, you're forced to live in a world that's not friendly for you. But I'm telling you, you have a choice. You can now optimize your brain because reality is personal. Reality is subjective. They didn't teach you that as well. Your, your reality and your friend's reality are two totally different concepts. Your friend could be struggling. You could be prospering. And you could live in the same place. It's a personal view of your... Look, personal. See, this is, this is your personal space. You block out everything that's not serving you. If it's serving you, you open it up and say, come on in. Come on in. If it's not, you put your lens on, man. This is the way you got to walk through reality. Because if you do not do this, your brain will take over the controls. And where it's going to lead you, it's not going to be success for you, my friends. It won't be success. And this is what they don't teach you. And this is what I'm making you aware of. And this is what I'm spreading. And I'm teaching you this. Because I'm, I'm, I'm the guinea pig. I've experienced this my very own self. I've been through it. I've seen it, I've analyzed it, I've noticed it, I've become aware of it, I've seen the changes, I was there when it wasn't going good, I was there when it's going good, I've been all across the whole spectrum, I was listening to my words and when I realized, you know, what I did guys, when I started this journey, you know what I did, I spent one week, one week, just analyzing my thoughts, I didn't judge them, I just stepped back and I watched what the words I was saying, and I spent one week and I wrote down all the words, that my mind was telling me and everything. And after one week and I read it, I was so shocked. I had about 80% of negative self-talk talk that I wasn't even aware of I was doing to myself. I was the one that was pushing me down and I did not even know it. And the reason I didn't know it is because it was my subconscious mind was on a program. I was hypnotized. When you're in a trance state, you're not going to be aware. You're just going to be in a habit mode. So I had to break that mode by becoming aware of it, by noticing what I was doing, and then I adjusted my course. When I adjusted the course and I changed the self-talk, my world immediately started to shift. And that's when the light went off and I said, oh my goodness, this is how this stuff works. It's that I have to be aware of what I say and think about myself because I am my own worst enemy. I'm my own best vindicator. It's nobody outside of there that's against me. It's me against me. I'm my own competition. It's no, it's, there's nobody out there. There's not the, the, the system and the man is not against me. It's me. My self-talk, man. What about action? Can the mind do the action for you? Yes. Your mind sets everything up for you to take action. When it's the right place, the right time, it's called uh, it's called inspired action. That comes through your higher self or your subconscious mind. Every you, whatever you want to do, you put it out in your inner outer conversation. And whatever you put out in inner outer conversation, your subconscious mind will pick it up. Then your subconscious mind create the avenue, and then it sends the action. It goes to your conscious mind and say, "All right, this stuff is ready to be uh, experienced." Go ahead and have him do this to get that. And then you will be directed in your mind to go do whatever it is for you to get your goal or act, whatever it is. That's how this stuff works. So, again, you have to you have to know this to make it happen, right? And someone asked me here, what's the best way to rewire the brain? Repetition. That's, I mean, that's the only way. I mean, you can know, I mean, you can know this stuff logically and you could be like a scholar and you could teach and you could say, Mark, I know this. But it, can you apply it? Application is the secret to success. The repetition creates the application. The application creates the results. So yes, this is not something you do every once in a while. This is something you do consistently. This is a life. This is a lifestyle now. This is not a life chill moment or, or sometimes I do. This is lifestyle. You hear that saying? You got to change your lifestyle. That doesn't mean that you got to do it like a little while. I mean, this, this is the way it's going to be from now on. When you change your lifestyle, you change your life. When you do repetition, you change your brain style. 
your brain style changes your life. Now I gotta tell you something. You gotta be patient and persistent with this stuff because a lot of it has been years junked up in there. It's gonna take some, some sorting out for it to happen. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to do this stuff. And if you don't have time, then it won't work for you. And I just to let you know, there's more than enough time because time really doesn't exist. It's just the present moment, right? Can people with negative mindset affect your manifest your mind? Yes, people, because we're all connected. So if, if someone around you is constantly negative, the chances of chances are you're going to be negative as well because you're going to be influencing. If, you're, if your friends are really negative and pessimistic, the chances are you're going to be really negative your friends are really struggling financially, chances are you're going to be struggling financially. If your friends are making a lot of money and they're successful, chances are you're going to be so very successful. If your friend is in a healthy uh, relationship, chances are you're going to find a healthy relationship. If your friends are in a toxic relationship, chances are you're going to be in a toxic relationship. And the answer is very simple. I go, I, let me get, let me, if your parents are in a financial situation where they're not making enough money, you're gonna be in a financial situation where you're not gonna make enough money. If your parents are divorced, have toxic relationships, you're gonna find a relationship where you're gonna get divorced. It's a very easy game. It's one, two, three, and I'll show you how it works very simply. The thing is this, we are all connected, number one, and everything comes into our reality through electromagnetic waves. So when I'm standing here next to my friend or whatever, I'm interacting in an invisible field of energy. I'm sending information to him, her, she's sending information to me. If I'm not cautious, if my mind is not bolstered with positivity, her negative information will break me down, okay? So we are always products of giving information. So our subconscious, and it all comes to your subconscious. Your subconscious watch what you surround yourself with the most. So if you're around your parents a lot and they're not the way you want them to, or your friends a lot not the way, you are going to be that way, point blank. That's how it works. So, I mean, if they don't tell you that, I'm telling you now. Okay? So, those are just some quick tips for you. And I'll see you guys again next time.